everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you are here for the first time, please consider subscribing for more watch content in the future. In today's video, we will do the full unboxing, review and setup of the new Apple Watch Series 7. So take a coffee and enjoy the video. As most of you know, besides all kinds of mechanical watches, I am also a big fan of the Apple Watch. So I usually upgrade every year to the latest version as Apple always brings some new cool features with the new release. Before we start, a quick wristwatch check. I am wearing the Casio A500 World Time today, a watch you can buy for a few bucks that gives you great features and works well for traveling the world. I decided to buy the Apple Watch in 45mm. GPS only, midnight black case on the black sport band. I think this combination gives you best value for money, looks always great and suits the design of the Apple Watch best. I paid 1719 dirham for the watch or 469 US dollar. This is actually the retail price here in Dubai. So the watch comes in the usual white cardboard box without any plastic wrap around it. Inside we find two smaller boxes, one containing the watch and one containing the strap. Let's open the strap first. The strap comes with one upper and two lower parts. With the two lower parts you can make a first rough adjustment to your wrist. What is a good benefit? Two long straps are usually not that comfortable and look weird. Time to open the box that contains the watch. some quick start manuals the charger cable this time the charger cable comes with a USB-C port so be aware that there is no USB-C charger included. You either have one at home already or you better order one in advance. I would recommend to get a quality third party charger from Amazon like the one I linked in the description below. Those work great and will save you a big buck compared to buying one from Apple. The watch itself comes in a protective cover. And here it is, the 45mm Midnight Black Apple Watch Series 7. The strap can be easily attached, just slide it into the watch case. With the buttons on the back, you can release the strap and we can put on the short to medium lower strap end for my 6.5 inch wrist. From my experience, this sports band works very well with the Apple Watch, much better than the single loop. You will find the perfect fit and you can adjust it in case your wrist expands during hot temperatures. The single loop will bring you some limitations.
Let us check the weight. So the watch comes at 65 grams and the case has a width of 38 millimeters and a length of 45 millimeters. Even though 45 millimeters sounds big, as we have no lugs attached to the watch case, this watch will wear fine in a, on a medium sized wrist. The thickness of the watch is 13 millimeters, what is also great for such a high tech instrument. Time to get the watch started. Open the watch app on your phone and start the pairing process. As usually I forgot to update my phone software before. You will need iOS 15 to be able to pair your watch with your phone. I am still using an old iPhone 8 as this is a small and light phone so great to use it for sports and by that it matches the Apple watch. So models starting from iPhone 8 and above should work fine with this model. So let us start the pairing now with the update to iOS 15. The pairing and setup process is really easy and everything is well explained. Just be aware that it will take a while until everything is set up. Take your time and don't rush it. So the new Apple Watch 7 has the largest display we ever got with an Apple Watch. Actually it is 20% more uh, in screen size compared to the Series 6. Comes with great health innovations like heart rate and blood oxygen monitor. Charges now 33% faster compared to Apple Watch 6. And keeps the great always on retina display. On the right side of the watch we have the crown, microphone and on and off button. On the left side we find a speaker which increased in size and on the back we have the heart rate and blood oxygen monitor. And here we go with the fully set up watch. Time to have a look at the new watch faces. So to be able to change them, go to your watch app on your iPhone and select the faces you would like to have on your watch. I will select several and show you my favorites. The new watch faces range from information driven ones that show your heart rate, weather or the stock market to more artistic ones that shine with a great design, bright colors or funny characters. I might be a bit boring, but I usually stick to the one that shows you the activity rings as I love to use my Apple Watch as an activity tracker. Let us use the heart rate monitor, really simple to use and a great feature. Time to check my blood oxygen level. And time for a wrist shot. So overall I must say the new display looks awesome, the faster charging is really useful and the increased robustness of the watch is also a nice add-on as it will prevent the screen from getting scratched too easily. So I'm really happy with the upgrade and if you like the Apple Watch you can't go wrong with it. I hope you like this unboxing and review. If you are interested in mechanical watches as well 
subscribe to my channel and check my other videos as well. Thank you for watching, stay healthy and bye bye.